All right, everybody, welcome to Test Chamber. I'm Brian Vohr. I'm here with Ben Reeves. Hello. And outgoing intern, Elise Favis. Hey, how's it going? That's the right way to pronounce it. Yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's not Favis? <laughs> no, it's Favis. Cool. Oh. I like that, yep. that way to do it. We're here playing Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Um, Whoa. Looking at the map screen, it's quite uh, quite detailed. Oh, that is really nice. Cool. craziness. That's what happened when I pressed the leap of faith button. That's right. Hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you you can see um, it's got lots of Assassin's Creed elements to yeah. it. Yeah, jumping into haystack still. <laughs> um, it is a. I can't you can double see assassinate these guys. Two point five D. No, no, of course not. Um, what do you ben has not played this game yet, so he's going to have some troubles here. Can Why can't I target the other guy? Can you air assassinate them? Yeah. No. No? What? Well, oh. you yeah. can, but then you'll just get caught. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that then. That's all right. Ben has not touched this game at all, so this is going to be interesting to watch. You want right. to hit the Y <laughs> button for hard. Get him. There oh, you go. look at that. Oh, that was pretty <laughs> that was sick. Fancy. That was my fancy kill. There you go. Cool. So this takes place in the 1500s China. Uh, we've got Xiao Zhen, the as the protagonist. Now, Elise, you know a little bit about Xiao Zhen? Yeah, she's from Assassin's Creed Embers, which was a short oh. film, I think, that came out after Revelations, which basically ended the story of Ezio Auditore. Yes, oh, and in yeah. that film, she trained with uh, Ezio pretty um, extensively, learned a lot of hot tips. Ooh, just barely. Yeah. So, so people can hear you, I take it? Um, only on special loud floors. Okay. Which you probably won't deal with any. This is the even, second level. Even when you're running? That's right. What's the green for? Does that mean something? It's a hiding spot. Oh. So pop up. Oh, he's going that way. You could technically just, just leave. go up. Just go. Yeah. They're not, they're not looking at you. Don't have um, to kill if you don't need to. <clears throat> That's my motto. So <laughs> she's back in China because the assassins have been brought low. And Look at uh, that. she's back to kill some Templars and get some revenge. I'm worried about this guy. Uh, so you know what would help? Back. You know what help Ben? If you click the right stick, get some eagle vision. Uh -huh. So if he's doing a patrol, he'll have a sparkly path on the floor. So now you know he's not gonna uh, patrol. But he could turn around, couldn't he? Well, if he's going to turn around, there's an eyeball control. that appears above his head that lets you know it's going to happen. So just pop in there. Or kill him, yeah. That also works. I oh, feel that's like, the way to do it. So that's if I popped in there, how would I have gotten around him? You can also kill from hiding spots. Oh, that would have been cool. So you could and have like brought him into the hiding spot and killed him? Is that what happens? Yeah, you pop out and you stab him, and then you bring him in. Cool. And that way your path is covered. Is there a lot of non-lethal options if you kind of... Are the kind of person that doesn't want to kill everybody? <laughs> no, no. Oh, gosh. Uh, the only non-lethal version is if you just do not kill someone and let them live and, and just keep moving, which is a pretty good option. As you see, uh -huh. Ben's getting a lot of uh, hmm. scores that pop up here. Um, hang on. Whoa. Whoa. Very nice. Uh, after every... Get down oh, here. You're going to get oh, caught. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, so line of sight turns red when you've been caught. Do they know where I am? Oh, okay. Exactly, yeah. Um, and if there's little doors in the background, oh, I can't, like, jump over that means guys. there's uh, reinforcements. All right. So if you mess up in there, you'll get tons of guys coming out, and they'll probably kill you. Now we know what to do, though. Around how long is this campaign? Well, um, there's 12 memory sequences. So I think... There's no there's no timer, but I would estimate maybe eight ish hours. Okay. Maybe ten. The levels are actually pretty big, as you saw from that map screen. Like you just keep panning and panning and panning and panning to the right, and there's a whole lot of stuff to go to take down. Oh, uh, this might be a problem. Yeah, this is the same mistake you just made. Well, he saw me do it last time, so that's why. Well, you're lucky that oh, he wow. just stopped yeah. patrolling <laughs> the last second. <laughs> you're very lucky. I don't like So this assassin gold, that means you killed at least a guy and got away with it. And that's also a checkpoint. So all those oh, add nice. up towards the end, and you get these bonuses like um, increased health, 
and new powers and things like that. Oh, close okay. one. So try killing that guy when he walks in front of you. Schling. Schling. It brings him in. Ah, oh, nice. And now that it's you know it's the perfect crime. Well, it's great. Nah, it's weird that I didn't bring that guy into the hiding spot. So if you, when he turns around, if you hold and then hit the, if you hold left and hit the move button, you'll hop between hiding spots, which is nice. Oh, really? Oh, I want to try that again. So I, I hold the run button. Just if you crank the left stick to the left and then hit A. Oh, that's so you get awesome. a quick, oh, nice. Quick move there. Very nice. Very stealthy. Shunk. And then he dies. Cool. Uh, this seems pretty cool, Brian, but I read your review and uh, you weren't in love with it. You know, it really starts out quite fun. I mean, who wouldn't get behind this? Right. Yeah, so it's far, great. So far, so good, actually. So far, quite fun. Um, it just loses some steam over time. You feel like you're kind of doing a lot of this over and over and over again. It's got, like, too repetitive uh, gameplay. Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, mm. that is true. It does get more complicated with, like, well, obviously lots more guys. Yeah. Um, that, that's been a problem with Assassin's somewhere? Creed games in the past. What you want to do here, sorry for a quick diversion, oh. hold down the left bumper. Oh, left bumper. And then aim it with the right stick, and then hit the right bumper. Like a throwing knife? There you go. Cool. Yeah, the throwing knife is mostly for this. You can hit guys, but it doesn't, like, kill them, so what's the point even? And these are, like, uh, tacks or something? Oh. That's oh. firecrackers. So what's this thing do? That's a whistle. Give her a whistle. Oh, and you can control how big it is. Yep. That's actually kind of cool. And that attracts enemies to come towards you. <laughs> That's right. And if you hit up, you can get more. Uh, yeah, that'll bring guys. Uh, nice. The whistle isn't that great because mm -hmm. unless you're hiding in a, in a certain way, they'll just start walking to you and discover you right away. So the firecrackers are good because it'll stun the guy and you can run up and stab him. And then there's also a noise dart, which it appears is not unlocked in this stage yet. So uh, these aren't guys. Guys are not going to patrol, but I do this to. They'll be like, "Huh, what's that?" And then, uh, and then you pop down. This to you can get in a little hiding spot. Little. Do I have time to dash? You think? No, that was a close one. I'm like, huh? Hmm. Well, so that's just a fell for one. no reason. Well, <laughs> you might be able to throw a firework. So throw a firecracker. Oh, at the him. guy's not going to come back here. Huh? You can double, double, double up on these guys. Get it, get it on both of them. Will they both get knocked out? They'll be stunned. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Go for it. Now go and hide. Get and now the you hiding can just kill and, both of them. Yeah, because the one will wake up and then the mm. other one will. Yeah. But like, now they're both looking that way. So oh, I good. see. So you can. That was slick. You don't always have to kill everyone, you guys. Come on. <laughs> good point. You are an assassin. Have some mercy. But uh, yeah, I mean. They do try to break it up, which at some point we should probably jump ahead to a uh, one of the chase escape scenes. Whoa, that is a little unrealistic there. That's a, quite a jump she just made. She's got assassin skills. Come on. That doesn't mean you're like superhuman. It's not like you're half rabbit. It's a video <laughs> game, man. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> totally unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, let's so, jump ahead. Okay, you may recognize this old guy. <laughs> He's uh, Ezio. This is back. She's remembering. Oh, you have to slide. So you have to run and then run. hit left trigger and then attack. There you go. There we go. Keep going. He's going to make you do it a few times, but she's remembering her excellent training yes, uh, that she received at the Master, Assa at the Master Assassin's Instructions. Um, your training is this is really the only if time the break. Air, Everything else takes place in 1500s China. Oh, I didn't jump. That's so are there no um, okay. <clears throat> present day sequences? That is correct. Uh, it's all, uh, there's there's nothing, nobody sitting at a computer like like an idiot and <laughs> walking around a dumb office. No dumb Man. hacking games. Wait, those were cool. You're disappointed by that? Yeah, no, those were like... The sci-fi part of Assassin's Creed was what made me interested in the game in the first place. Well, sure, I know. and it was cool originally, but like, it, but you have to admit it's worn thin, right? Yeah, no, it has, and I'm disappointed by that. Like, I think they should give it more 
um, the assassin cannot be far. you know, focus in the games. Yeah, it was cool know. when they actually had a protagonist. Like, when they there. actually had a protagonist. I'd be fine if they like left it alone for a couple of yeah. entries and then came back to it at some point. So. It just seemed like filler in like uh, the last two games. Yeah, definitely. These yeah. cutscenes are cool, though. Yeah, I like these. Yeah, these are nice. Um, the Templars are going to burn this place to the ground. Yeah, so you want to run because you're trying to escape a fire. <laughs> you Sounds can like see, one of the voice actors from uh, Dragon Age or something. You can see that... Uh, can I help this guy put out this fire? <laughs> no. You can see... Um, you go in and out of the screen. There's some depth to the levels, too. So it's not just left, right, up, down. Nice. You go back and forward. I like that. It's a cool effect. Yeah. So Did add you? some depth to the levels. Oh, I'm going to get this guy. So oh, jeez. Wow. You're going to want to use the jump kill or the slide kill. This is because quite the scene. For a bunch of these. You're going to have fire coming after you soon. So Okay. It's a good thing we just remembered that then. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just thought back on your time. <laughs> The drop kill is fun to do. That was cool. Did you ever yeah. play Mark of the Ninja? I sure did. That was a fun 2D stealth game. And yeah, this I is a lot like they like should do that, more of it. In a way. I'm kind of disappointed here. This isn't like... Oh, that was just a secret. Yeah, you got a little Animus fragment there. All right. Good job. But I'd like to see more 2D stealth games like that. And this is apparently okay, but not, not quite the game we want. Yeah, it's lacking a lot of the depth that Mark of the Ninja had. Hmm. Um. Yeah, there's just there's just so yeah, many different powers and so much to do in Mark of the Ninja, mm -hmm. and this just kind of runs out of innovation after a while. They do introduce. I mean, you have those four oh, gosh. those four powers in the bottom left, and that's pretty much it. Um, right. At a certain point, you just get like better versions of the same stuff you already have, or more. You know. More uh, knives in your arsenal, things like that. I wanted um, to air assassinate that guy, and it was not working out for me. You're lucky the fire really hasn't caught on yet. The parkour oh, stuff is. seems really smooth, though. Like, do you find it smooth when you play it? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Oh, gosh, look at this fire. Ooh. Wow. Woo. There Close. you go. That's going to be happening more. Oh, that guy's dead. See you, sucker. You're burned alive. <laughs> Well, they shouldn't align their entire docks with, like, hay or something. Hay or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> highly flammable. <laughs> Covered in, Not like, the smartest. animal manure or something. But, yeah, these keep getting more and more intense over time. And you get bonuses for completing them faster. Oh, really? So you get upgrades if you get, like, a gold ranking or something. That guy can see me to take it? Mm hmm or will soon. Uh, he missed you, so. That's another thing about the layers is they'll look around, but if you're not in that layer, he won't see you. Nice. So sometimes you don't have to worry about right. it. Nice. Uh, yeah, did you see that? Oh, yeah. Well done. That was pretty good. Can you hang from that hook or anything? I don't have time for no. that. Oh. <laughs> you can't string people up like in Mark of the Ninja, like we, like just hang them grotesquely. Oh, yeah. Basically, they should have just made an art. You could do Ninja. that in Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, Hang yeah. them from a tree, like with the rope thing. Yeah, you can do that in like Rogue and Black Flag. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. it's all in there now. Right. That is a that's oh, a fun this one. This looks bad. Okay. It seemed like it was gonna be bad, but you you pulled it off. Well, that looks like a secret I want. I should don't worry. Well, oh, okay. Don't bother with it. No, there's a there's a door, so you might as well. Oh. So those red birds, do those um, indicate uh, like a, a spot to synchronize or to leap of faith? That's right. Cool. Yeah, you can synchronize that. Not every spot has one, like since this is a running level. Um, I kind of feel a little bit like already that's like, well, we've been sort of running from this fire for a long time. Maybe this game is sort of like. Kind of does the same has thing. Has some good ideas and then just like repeats them over and over again, kind of like what you're saying. I already feel that a little bit. Mm. You're already feeling it. You just played it for 15 minutes. I know. Like, <laughs> I guess I'm waiting for something new to happen. Yikes. Um, yeah. It's interesting because this is part of a, the first entry in a trilogy of these. Oh, so you hold up. There you go. Oh. Oh, cool. yeah. Cool. So you can swing from Change everything things. I said. It's 
<laughs> yeah, you get surprised. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe the right choice would have been to have all the trilogy all be one game and chop out some levels and just kind of jump between the three assassins. Yeah. Um, constantly, so you have different powers and a uh, different feel, and, like, they all... Sure. Have like, they announced the other two assassins yeah. already? The second one is... Uh, it takes place in India, and I don't remember what the oh, guys gosh. names guys the guys names are for either of the other ones. But the other two are dudes, and the third one's in Russia. Cool. And they all have different art styles, and the guys have different weapons. Oh, oh. I didn't realize I was supposed to jump there until it was too late. It was kind of tricky, yeah. The fire I think get you. The Russian guy, he's like from a comic or something. Yeah, they've all appeared previously, at least in like a. Graphic novel or, you know, Shao Jun, of course, in the video. So it's all like previously announced assassins kind of getting their own game. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So the Indians uh, levels are kind of like a bright, um, really bright color scheme. And then Russia is almost like black and white, except yeah. the main protagonist and the enemies, I think, are colorized. That he's got cool. like a that sniper rifle. Awesome. Oh, I thought that guy was in there. Yeah. Jump, he, jump, jump. He's Woo! got a sniper rifle. And the Indian guy has like a a blade frisbee thing. So it'll be interesting to see how they are. Wow. But like it would have been cool, like maybe if there was like instead of twelve per game, which if the if this trend rolls on, that would happen in the other two, they would he's all have twelve levels. But if maybe if it was like five with each character, yeah. it was just like a one-off mm -hmm. thing. It would have been a good beefy yeah. game. How long do you think this took you to play? Like the whole game. Um, They don't really have like a timer that runs, but I would say maybe eight to ten hours. Oh, wow. The levels are pretty big. They take a little, a little bit to get through. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, well, did we go over the story on this one? I don't even know what's happening. Like, who? Yeah, we did. We did? All right, well. <laughs> I still don't know what happened. it's happening, but hopefully the watchers do. Yeah, it's uh, those watchers. The watchers. The watchers. <laughs> the watchers watching us. Yeah. All right. But I think that's a, a good encapsulation of what we got going on here with Assassin's Creed yep. Chronicles I'm, China. I'm definitely going to check it out. Thanks for watching our time capsule. Yeah, it's worth giving a shot. In the year 2052. Hope you enjoyed this look back at 2015. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for uh, for uh, watching and listening, yeah, being thanks. a watcher. Uh, <laughs> Good old watchers. <laughs> Sounds really watching. creepy now. Thanks for your time. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.